Ooh, 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 gotta put you on the try, pa. Gotta put you on the try, pa. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, hey, oh, hey, this is unannounced. Let me put it in the Facebook group. Because I always forget to. I got this case on Amazon if you're curious. Ooh, let me post it. Let me post it. Nobody's here. It's 22 seconds, 24 seconds. Oh, 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 who's the first comment? First comment, first comment. Ashley Kajuski. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Good morning, good morning. Give this video a thumbs up as you come in. Good morning, everybody. Morning, everybody. Good morning. Let me post this in the group like I just said, but I didn't do it yet. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, my back's itching. Oh, yeah. While you guys are coming in, I'll just mention this. I'll probably mention it a few times. I just added UPS for shipping for the blanks. So if you live in Canada, UK, or international, it's where it makes the biggest difference. Or I guess California too. Shipping is a lot cheaper for the blanks. So just added it. Um, and then, yeah. So I just added it just now. Or like 10 minutes ago. So let me post. I know you guys love my turn the volume off my computer i know you guys love when i show you guys the fabrics because they look different you know on live than they do in the picture you know so <clears throat> you guys like that <laughs> you're welcome emma yeah shipping to canada was ridiculous and then as i was like looking and i'm like ups is like if you ship post office in canada it says like seven to ten days and ups i think it says like two to two to six it's so much faster and it's a lot cheaper so I went ahead and added it just now. So just wanted to let you guys know that. Let me add this to the Facebook group because I already said I was going to do that, but I still didn't do it. Facebook.com. Barbara, still going through your class on creating. Oh, thank you. Hi. I know I just have so many Canadian followers and subscribers who always wanted to buy the blanks, but you know, shipping is ridiculous. So UPS made it a lot cheaper. Uh, I just have to drop them off at the UPS store. Um, let me add this because I keep talking and forgetting. Yeah, guys, if you can give the video a thumbs up, um, if you're already in the video, just click the X out the chat and then just click the thumbs up button. I'd appreciate that. Ooh, wrong button. So today is the day I'm waiting for the huge massive blank delivery it's out for delivery so i have my crew of guys helping me out all the men in the family most of the men in the family my brother is in, is in colorado so he's not helping me he's busy on on his own business and my stepdad is at work so but everyone else is here dun, dun, dun. all right wee, wee, wee. Wee, wee, wee. Where can I find black, gray, and pink polka dot fabric? Oh, that one that I have, that one, it's uh, completely, it was out of stock. It's discontinued from Joann's. That's why you can't find it. I've looked, I've tried to find it everywhere. I finally found it, um, but yeah. Oh yeah, so this fabric, I hate the picture of it online, but like you can see here that it's like rose gold metallic -y. So I did want to show you. This is the Riley Blake as well, but it has the rose gold metallic to it. Super cute. Oh my god, I almost broke my computer. You're not late. I literally been live for four minutes. Hi, oh, where's my coffee? It's over there. Oh yeah, a lot of you guys also. Yeah, I'm gonna walk, walk and talk. Hope you don't get dizzy. So a lot of you guys are asking about the polka dot ribbon. It's back. If you see, I lightened the pink, right? That pink. It's a hot pink. So I lightened it so it looks a lot better. So they're on the website now. And I got a lot of them since you guys wanted that one so bad. And thank you, Chris, for the idea. Or I guess her name is Christine. Sorry. But sometimes it says Chris. Coffee. Whew. Let's see. I got you addicted to Duncan. Welcome to the club. Oh, so 
here. The men are working, so I'm gonna close the door while they work and package. They're packaging your orders right now, so when you place the order right now, it's gonna be packaged. This light died, so there's that, but I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera. Oh, for the Etsy course, the Etsy course is on kidscustomdesigns.com in the business education tab. So you can find it there. Um, tool you can get from BB Crafts. I no longer sell the pre-cut tools, so you can get that from BB Crafts. And ribbon is at kidscustomdesigns.com. I know I talk fast. I'm trying to talk slower. Guys, there's 155 of you guys watching and only 55 thumbs up. So if you can give this video a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. It just lets YouTube know people enjoy my content and like my videos. So there's no light here, but I'm going to try to show you these fabrics. So dang, you can't even tell because it's in the plastic. This is the Kaleidoscope, uh, Riley Blake Kaleidoscope. This is one of you guys' favorite, the pinky... What is it? Piggy pink. The piggy pink. I should probably put this in the light. These is your also your other favorite one. Red. And then we got the lavender and lime green. So these are all up on the website. This one also has rose gold lines. So it's shimmery too right here. And this one as well. Um, and this is the texture burlap. It's like a light brown color. And then, I have so much fabric. Oh, yeah, your favorite mermaid tail is in. So, mermaid tail is back in stock. This is the Kaleidoscope mermaid tail. Um, super pink. Janelle, thank you for the coffee. I appreciate it. Um, charcoal. I wish I would have organized these better, but if you guys see what's going on in the garage, then you would understand that this is what I had to work with. So here's some more fabrics. The yellow texture you guys asked for. Um, white texture. Do I have red polka dots to match? So I have... Let me find it. I have this red polka dot. And then... You guys are just going to really have to see my mess. It's cool. I'm going to try to hide half the mess. Let's see. Is there red polka dot? Oh yeah, we do have some character fabrics. If you guys haven't been on the website recently we have some hot wheels some lion king descendants peppa pig um we do also have frozen let me see Ugh. we got some we have some car seats too mm -hmm. some more peppa pig and that's the black toy poodle one let's see he's gonna see the mess it's cool it's great um uh, let's see this is another the mint I don't even know what color this one is. This one just fell. <laughs> this is Sun Glow. This one is a new one. This one is... I ordered the black texture, but everything black right now is out of stock. This is Violet. Um, Let's see. Red. Chevron. Navy. Dun, dun, dun. This one is also a new one. This is violet. What the oh, because this is the texture violet. And then this is the new cat we got in. Hey, Robin. And we have Bambi. Is this red or is this rogue? This is rogue. So that's not red. And this is the this one is my favorite super pink um, texture. If you guys were on my page, you saw that I made a baby onesie with this one. and this one is also shimmery so these are all up there's still frozen up guys i was shocked that you <laughs> we still have a little bit of frozen left bye Alyssa. hi mother um and lavender polka dot i don't see red polka dot oh we also have this mickey mouse one which i think is super adorable because you don't ever really get the chipmunks in the videos i mean in the videos <laughs> in the fabric um so yeah i don't think we have red polka dot and if we do i'm just not seeing it or it's still not it's in a box somewhere i swore we had red polka dot is this red nope that's rogue so we have a lot of the colors and the textures good morning linda uh no i don't see red polka dot so we just have I try to get all the texture colors. They just, the black. 
Oh, then we have Rapunzel still. We still have Rapunzel. Highlander. Halloween Star Wars fabric. If it when it comes in stock, I'll try to get it. As you know, it's hard to get. Oh shoot. Mm. It's hard to get any fabrics. This one, um, I think this is the cutest thing ever. Um, but my online picture is not the best. So there's this fabric, which I'm definitely going to use for a first birthday shirt. Hey, Pamela. And then let's see. Watch. I bet, I bet, the, uh, I bet the stuff shows up today. I mean, right now while I'm live. There's ooh, this one. Let me open this because is it here? No, it's not here. Okay. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. One hand. Ooh, doesn't work. Right hand. Why are you laughing at me? Hold on. I'm going to put this down. Yes, this is what my house looks like. Normally, it's a mess. It's cool. Y'all appreciate it. Y'all understand. Epic fail. Got to get some scissors. Not put it on the Dunkin' Donuts water stain. So yeah, this one reminds me of like a lemonade, strawberry lemonade, for like a strawberry lemonade party or a donut shirt, stuff like that. So those are the new fabrics. Let's see my face now. Good morning, Kit. Ooh, ew, Angela. <laughs> Good morning, Kitty. Let me go through some comments. Loving all this fabric spent yesterday, organizing all my fabrics after making over 1,500 masks. And oh, well, thank you for making masks, but I can't. Oh, yeah. Can anybody make Riley some masks? I know I should, but I am not in the market to make masks. So Riley needs some masks because she doesn't have any. So for anybody, we'd love to make Riley masks. Of course, I will pay for them. I love supporting other businesses. So... I will pay for them, but um, if somebody wants to make my child a mask, <laughs> I'd appreciate it. <laughs> um, so anything like girlyish, she'll like it. Um, but yeah, you can. Uh... So yeah, I have the Barbie fabric coming, but I only ordered like two, but then I pre-ordered some more. So yes, I have Barbie fabric coming. I thought it was going to be here yesterday, but it didn't show up. So maybe it's going to come today. So I do have Barbie fabric coming. Um, oh, my God. Riley's going to have like 10,000 10, masks. But, um, no, I don't have any Boss Baby fabric. Doom, doom, doom. Oh, the house showing. So still haven't heard back from that house so i'm gonna we're gonna go try to see another one we'll see hopefully it works out it's just a little difficult but yeah i know a lot of you guys told me to put a shed in the back but i don't own this house so i can't do anything and there's not even there's not even a really a backyard so can't do that yeah right now so yeah so i don't know if a lot of you guys know so the post office they switched priority mail from being one to three days to i think two to Two to four, two to five, one of the two. So they've added an extra day to priority mail. Dun, dun, dun. Why don't, por que no tienes nuevas imágenes de t-shirts? What do you mean? Why don't I have new pictures of shirts? Of what shirts? I have a question. AJ Blank Ruffle Girl shirts, will you get them in black? I order blanks, can't wait to receive my pink ones. I'm going to look into, because you guys know I don't have space right now, <laughs> but I'm going to look into adding black girl shirts, but then I also want to add the long sleeve shirts because fall's coming and people want long sleeves. What did Riley just drop upstairs? <laughs> I don't know. Do, do, do. Hi, Karen. How was school? Yeah, the baby gowns in white, those will be here at the end of next month. So July, end of July. Hey, Kristen. So I already ordered those. Um, they were overwhelming. <laughs> yes, I need a warehouse. Just warehouses in Maryland are a little ridiculously priced. And I love just being able to wake up and go downstairs and work. Hi, Hope. Do you think the boys' shirts will work as a regular t-shirt for a girl suit? I put Riley right in the shirt. <laughs> Riley, like, 
This is actually a, a men's shirt. It's a men's small. But yes, you can. Some girls don't like tight shirts. Some little girls, they rather just wear a t shirt. T shirt's a t shirt. So when I put, when I label it boys, it really is a unisex shirt. <laughs> Pam, I'm not moving to the country. I cannot. I love you. I mean, I know they have a Dunkin' Donuts. You have a Dunkin' Donuts, Joanne's, and Hobby Lobby. Walmart, really close. So maybe it's not that bad. Maybe. But I don't have goats. I don't have chickens. I don't. What else do you have? Goats, chickens, you have a cow next? I don't know. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. Uh, gracias, Haiti. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. Hi, Zachary. Hi, Crystal. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna get a bigger basement. Warehouse right now is not a good idea because I don't want my stuff getting shut down um, in case something happens in the pandemic, I don't know. After that, I'm just like, no, I'd rather just have everything in the basement. So I'm just looking for more houses with bigger basements so that I can keep everything in house. Um, and it's just easier. <laughs> Texas, well, I was considering, I can't move now, not the whole cross state move right now, but in the future, Texas or Florida. Gotta convince Keenan though. So, do, do, do. hey, Christy, <laughs> you'll send me my your house if I move to Mississippi. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to my whole finger. Florida is not cheap. I used to live in Florida. I lived in Western Florida. Do, do, do. Do, do. Florida, Texas everyone a lot of you guys are in texas a lot florida and texas and then i have new york i missed a lot i lost a lot of messages oh yeah the fabrics are 99 percent of the fabrics are 100 percent cotton yes yes riley loves unicorns okay let me scroll back down scroll 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 oh Hola, oh, I read it in Spanish. Hello, solo para dejarte saber que eres mi inspiración. I just started my business. That's some Spanglish right there. I just confused myself. And I just started my business of doing bows. They are sewn, by the way, but it's all because of you. Thanks all. Thank you, Odalis. Oh, that's cool. You have a game room. Can you get like the brand labels, Gucci style ribbons of fabrics? Just asking, I've been going crazy. I think I saw somebody ask that on another page too. Oh, thank you, Anita, for the super chat. Have you been in Maryland all your life? No, I lived in Maryland, Minnesota, Florida, and Maryland again. Do, do, do. Oh, numbers for the length and stuff. So for the singer heavy duty, I put, if, when I'm sewing the tool, the tension has to be at zero. But when you sew the elastic, the tension needs to be at six. Otherwise, it'll keep getting stuck. Yes, Maria, thank you so much. Sorry, I try to post it in the Facebook group when uh, people send me the coffee donations through PayPal. But honestly, sometimes I do forget. But I do drink my coffee and I do love it. So thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Very, and Keenan appreciates it too because dealing with me without coffee. No, 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 no. So it depends if you want embroidery vinyl or heat transfer vinyl. So embroidery vinyl, we have the embroidery vinyl. Here's some colors. This is the hot pink. You guys' favorite, the pastel glitter embroidery vinyl. Silver. Oh, thank you, Linda, for the super chat coffee. Thank you so much. Hi, Lurleen. This is Silver. Whose dog is that barking? I thought the dog must have just jumped through my window and attacked me. Here is the turquoise. Ooh, ooh. Orange. Black. The lavender. Oh, thank you, Bernadette, for the super chat coffee. I really appreciate it. I'm going to go back to Dunkin' Donuts this afternoon after opening all these 98 boxes. This is the pinky purple. This is what it looks like. 
I think the picture is hard to tell, but it's like, it's a pink, but it could also be like kind of a purple. So, and then this is the golden blonde color. These are all at kidscustomdesigns.com. Um, oh, thank you, Rose. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I, you motivated me so much that I bought a 10 needle, 10 needle machine. Oh, congratulations on getting your machine. I was drinking coffee, guys. Sorry. Oh, Katie, I shipped your order. Doom, doom, doom. What is the benefit of using embroidery vinyl versus heat transfer vinyl when doing applique? It's really just up to personal preference. That's literally all it is. Um, I will say the embroidery vinyl, you see how like it has like that mirror effect, like it's uh, reflective, I guess. That's the word I use. I didn't know another word to use. It's, it stands out a little bit better. And the sparkle is different than embroidery vinyl. Than, I mean, embroidery vinyl, wow. This is embroidery vinyl. The heat transfer vinyl. I always use heat transfer vinyl um, when I started. Um, but uh, embroidery vinyl is now kind of my favorite. Because I just like the, the shininess of it. And the sparkle is just different. It's not, I don't want to use the word dull for um, embroidery vinyl. Oh my god. Heat transfer vinyl. Let me show you. So, this is heat transfer vinyl, but you take off the clear thing. Let me take off the clear thing. You're going to put you on the floor. Don't look up my nose. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Trying to take Oh, it fell. That's awesome. All right, let's try this. Let's try this again. Don't fall. Okay, so... Here is the heat transfer vinyl, and here's the embroidery vinyl. So when it goes on, it'll go on just like that. So you see this one has like a reflective look to it, and then this is kind of dull, but this is, is very, very shimmery. Yes, you have to take the clear off. The embroidery vinyl, there's nothing on it. There's nothing to take off. It's canvas on the back. Ooh, this way, it's usually canvas of cotton. <laughs> yeah, you're on the food. <laughs> Someone needed to pick you up. Um, so embroidery vinyl is heavier than heat transfer vinyl. Heat transfer vinyl is very thin and it's easy, I guess, to rip. And then embroidery vinyl, you can't you can't rip this with your hand. There's no way to rip it unless you're Hulk. Glossy. Oh yeah, Amanda. Thank you. That's a great. That's a great word. Glossy. 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 I heard Caesar is a good brand, but they have bad reviews on Amazon. I use Caesar, period. I don't use any other embroidery vinyl except Caesar right now. So all these are Caesar and my messy stuff. Mm, it's messy. So is the vinyl soft? So it's flexible. Like I don't know if soft is a word, but it doesn't. It, it's super uh, smooth on the top. It's bendy. It's just like canvas. Do do. I don't sell uh, Caesar heat transfer vinyl, no. Hi, I got my pastel rainbow vinyl and fabric from you. Thanks so much. I love them. Oh, you're very welcome. Hi, Marge. Guys, you can give this video a thumbs up when you guys come in. Or right now, you can just close the chat, hit the X, and give the video a thumbs up. That just lets you two know people actually like my videos. So thank you. Jum, jum, jum. Yes, you can wash it well. A lot of people use it for towels. Oh, yeah, there is. Some people do sell fake Caesar online, so you have to be careful. Look for the price point. Caesar is usually like twelve forty nine a yard. Is it here yet? Body suit. Body suit. We don't. Have, you mean gown? Yeah. The gowns are out there. <laughs> We're coming into my warehouse. Here's all the bins. We did four now. These are empty because we're waiting for the truck today. But here we go. Nobody wants to be seen in my videos. So, <laughs> y'all are hiding. <laughs> okay. Blue. So, here's the pink shirts because I know a lot of you guys haven't seen the pink shirts, but there's pink shirts and the blue. Where, where'd it go? It's not up here. They weren't here. 
the hint are somewhere. Does anybody see blue? Blue gowns? Are they up there? No. Are they over here? No. Let's find the blue gowns together. I don't know where they are. Are they in here? Does anybody see blue gowns? Let me know. Oh, are they down there? No. Oh, no. They must be right here. Are they in here? Oh, we're looking. Because y'all can, I can look through here. Yep, they're right here. We found them. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for your help, guys. I feel like we're on board. <laughs> Appreciate your help. So it's my sister's boyfriend, Denard, Keenan, and my father-in-law is somewhere. So we have the gray shirts now in stock as well. We have pretty much everything in stock. Black shirts over here. So you guys did post on Instagram for me to do the library thing. So that definitely, definitely helped. So that's what we're looking like now with all our recycling everywhere. And then we have uh, the vinyl and the bands. And I did put fabric with the dryer sheets inside of them. Like here, so it does help with the smell. You guys said that it smells so much better now. So, yeah, these bins are from Uline.com. That's where I got all those bins from. And then I had Keenan go to the dump yesterday and get rid of everything that was over here. So now we have more space to use for now. Um, but crazy thing is, he went to the dump yesterday. Normally, the dump is not a problem, but he said it was like a landfill. And it was nails all over the ground. And they tell you, like, back up, back up. And you're backing up into trash. And you dump the stuff. And he came home, and there was about six or seven nails in our tires. So there was that. He's like, never again. And he thought he, he's like, he had to go all the way up a hill. He said, if we didn't have the Tahoe, they wouldn't even made it. They just went way back down. So, yeah, no more dump. <laughs> that is a tremendous help. My first batch was stinky. Well, yes, I, I I saw that someone had posted to do that. So thank you. I'm going to start my tutu business. You're my inspiration. Thank you. Do you recommend starting with regular shirts or the ones you sell? Honestly, it depends. I'm just being honest. I know I sell shirts, but when you're just, if you're just starting, you want to make a sample. Do not use a shirt for a sample. Um, use the fabric from Joanne's to start. That's me being honest. <laughs> Let me keep looking. Oh, yeah, we are going to label the bins. I didn't label them at first because when we have all the boxes coming in. Everything's going to change. Um, so literally, I keep changing the way the bins are, the way the bins are. But now we got four. So I can add like a two. I'm short. So those up there or oh, that way, that's only Keenan and his father. The burgers are ready. Yes. Burgers are ready. Let me show you guys the pink shirts. For, oh, yeah. So I'm gonna be adding, is that it? Okay, let me know your thoughts. So this is the sample I got, okay? Oh, I need somewhere to show it better though. They're gonna be like, I'm in their way. Sorry, guys, I'm gonna have to take over. So I was looking into adding, these are sweatshirts, but they're very, they're thin. So they're like the same material as my shirts. Um, and I was thinking about adding them and they have the ruffle at the bottom. I know it's a little wrinkled. So they're thinner. So let me know your thoughts on that. I think they're cute for like August, September when it's cold, but not freezing. It's just like eh, a fall hoodie. So what do you guys think about these? Adding these. Dun, dun, dun. What do you think? Well, what do you think? And then I also would add boys. They just wouldn't have the ruffle at the bottom. Oh, uh, thank you, Haiti, for the super chat. I really appreciate it. And then there was something else. Where'd they go? There was another thing somewhere. Over here, somewhere. Yes, yeah, so I would get these for boys. Maybe like, what colors? Gray, black, I don't know. Blue. So like I said, they're not thick. They're thin. I would say maybe like a long sleeve shirt type of feeling. Let's see. There's something else I wanted to show. Ooh. All right. These. You guys asked me what a bubble sweatshirt is. So this is what it looks like. And it's like you wear it with leggings. And there's these. The bubble sweatshirts. Modeling them. 
So these, I, I wasn't sure what colors you guys would like for these. Obviously pink. Um, yeah. So for the boys, gray, black, navy, okay? And then what about these sweatshirts? I would probably have these come in every size that I currently offer right now. If you're talking about these. Hi, T. Yeah, I would try to get them in all the sizes that I currently carry. We keep looking for the delivery, but. Um, so, yeah. Mustard yellow. Okay, so. Pink, gray, purple. So, I'll look into adding these. These are not going to be out right now. I have to figure out colors and then I have to order them and then it takes like. A month to make them. Yeah. Okay, let me go. Leave y'all to work. <laughs> oh, thank you. They have a YouTube so, channel, Millie D Reacts. If you're interested, did I embarrass you just now? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, that smells good. My mother-in-law made some burgers. They smell really good. I expect your hospital every time you pay rent, you're giving your money away. I know that you know this, but just wanted to give you extra push since you're always motivating us. Yeah, so I my plan is to buy a house, but next year, um, because you they, you need like two years of solid, good income, especially for the size house I need for the warehouse to be inside the house. So that's why I'm not buying a house right now. You know, I'm just honest. I, I, yeah. Um, so... Like the ones behind apartments, three yard bin, bin, barn, bin, barn. I'm not, I'm not doing the Christmas, the Christmas this year. Um, maybe next year because that requires a lot of money, a lot of money. So this year, no. Next year, I think it's definitely a possibility to offer the Christmas pajamas next year. A pole barn. I just don't, I can't do that here. There's literally, there's literally no backyard here. Blue, yeah, blue vinyl. I think we only had like one or two rolls left. Yeah, so when I, when I get a house, I plan to get a house that has like a big backyard when I buy, buy it. And, or I'm just going to build, like the basement will just be massive, like massive where there's no way I can outgrow unless I become like a million dollar business. And at that point, getting a warehouse wouldn't be a problem. But for right now, yeah. Have so many questions. Where can I purchase? Mighty Hoops, you can buy at mightyhoop.com. What embroidery machine would you recommend for doing embroidery on bath towels? It depends on what kind of embroidery you want to do. If it's just straight out just words then you can use a p800 but if it's like applique and like depends on exactly what you want to do um oh texas no basement oh well thank you for telling me i know that so the alliance the brother version would be the persona um those are very good i, I loved this machine i still love it but love this machine because i don't have to sit there and hold the shirts and this would do it for me. So if you're doing a towel, you just have to change the colors. Um, but it's a cheaper option if the six needle is not an option. So then there's a six needle. Um, for right now, I haven't been embroidered. I haven't embroidered in like three or four days. Because I did, if you watched my last video, um, I had to make sure all my embroidery was done. So that this week I can focus on the blanks. So I did everything. Dun, dun, dun. Cubbies was selling the mighty hoops as well. Yeah, do you do you jiggle, <laughs> jiggle work and family and not lose your mind? Or how do you? So right now my mother in law actually is officially grandma nanny. So she's here the whole week with the kids so that I can focus on the business. I can work and my husband. We can all work uh, because yes, I was losing my mind trying to do everything, um, and I couldn't stand my house being a mess. Tender to touch. Tender touch is over here in the garage. 
Sorry. Are you gonna go eat? No, I'm gonna grab the orders. Oh, you have more orders. This is Touch. So, Tender Touch is what goes on the back of the shirts for embroidery. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what that is. You can get that at Joann's in Amazon. I don't believe Hobby Lobby doesn't sell it, and neither does Walmart, which I wish they would. Where's my coffee? The, the burgers are ready. You're welcome. Oh, yes, I, I'll give. It's, it's nice having family help, um, especially with the virus. <laughs> so, um, yeah, everyone helps. Everyone's nice. I feel like I'm going cross-eyed trying to read the comments on here. I would love to start. I feel like I'm going cross-eyed. To start shirts in my area, but I think the HTV Vinyl would be where to start. HTV Vinyl is a great starting point because it um, doesn't take as long. And it's not, to me, it's not, the whole biggest thing is it's not time consuming. You can get the shirts out fast. Um, that's why I like the HTV. Oh, thank you, Janelle. Dun, dun, dun. Dun. Will you continue to have the bigger size in the boys and girls? Yes. So it's size 12 and 14, they're staying. I'm not getting rid of them. Uh, you guys love them. So yeah, 12 and 14 are here to stay. They're in the gray, they're in the black. I don't think I showed you guys the girls, uh, the shirts actually. I should trick Kaden, but <laughs> but I can't because I definitely said that out loud when I was thinking in my head. <laughs> All right, so back to putting you here. So here's the gray. Wow, Angela, you don't know your colors. <laughs> this is the pink uh, girls puff sleeve shirt, and they are on the website. I don't I don't think they sold it out yet. Um, here's the pink. And then here's what the gray looks like. So same, same material, same everything. Gray for embroidery. Oh man, there's motion in my driveway. Kenan, is it? Are they here? I guess I hear the garage going. If they're here. Two. And AJ, I'm so proud of you for doing your thing. Hang in there. Great things are yet to come. Oh, thank you. My house has a... Are they here? There was motion in the driveway. It was just the car. Oh, it was just the car. Great. Sell elastic for two twos? I could. You need something behind me? What do you need? Uh, frozen. Frozen. There you go. Anything else? Nope. No, we're not. Okay. Um, what is the elastic you need? Put if you could post a picture of it in the group because I think think that I can get it um, from the fabric distributors. I think. Don't quote me on that. I think. <laughs> Love watching your videos. I'm from the UK. I started doing vinyl T-shirts to go with my handmade card making due to being so inspired by you. Oh, thank you. Thank you for watching. Do um. And brilliance, can I explain it? So, okay, so there's different levels to embrilliance. Oh my god, the wall doesn't no wall right there. Oh, I thought I was going D I E. <laughs> okay, so in brilliance, there's a brilliance essentials, which is pretty much the basic in brilliance. What pretty much everybody I keep saying, pretty much what I've used for four years. So, if you're buying a design off of Etsy. Let's say it's just like a, a number one off Etsy. And then you buy like a balloon design, applique design on Etsy. And you want to put them together into one design, you need a Brilliance Essentials. So you merge the designs together. If you want to put words, if you want to do custom words, letters, names, you need a Brilliance Essentials because it lets you add words to your design. Change the colors, stuff like that. That's what in Brilliance Essentials is. That's pretty much mostly what everybody the main audience i have that's what you need you don't need anything more now if you want to digitize in order like in other words create your own designs then you need stitch artists this is from the embrilliance side you need stitch artists they have levels one two and three now i have all three levels because we were completely digitizing everything um i don't know everything about stitched artists you would have to read their descriptions to figure out exactly what you're trying to do and which 
which uh, level you need. Now, you can just buy one level at a time, and they have a level up, so you can just buy that level up later. So you don't have to buy all three levels at once. You can just buy one. If you buy three, it includes one and two. So just putting it out there, you don't need to buy everything. Digitizing software is super expensive because there's Hatch that a lot of people use. Um, that's by Wilcom. Wilcom, I don't know. Wilcom, Wilcom. So, yeah. Hi, da Dama, Dama. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Yeah, so I'm going to do a video when the big order comes in. So I don't want to stay live this whole time. I'm going to do a video on it of getting everything. Um, I was supposed to be charging my camera battery, but I didn't. So I'm probably going to use my phone. Can you merge any designs with the brilliance? Yeah, if you buy two designs off Etsy, you, there's like a little button with like, it looks like a little pencil with a rectangle type thing. It just says merge design. You click it and you pick the two designs you want and you put them together and you can move them left to right. And, and Brilliance is the only software that uses the BX fonts. And what that means is you don't have to drag and drop every single letter and line them up yourself. The BX fonts, you just type it like you would normally type and it, the whole words are there. I'm starting a vinyl t-shirt business, but does your course explain everything to open an Etsy shop step-by-step? Step? Yes. The Etsy success course literally, literally goes step-by-step. Step. I try to explain everything very user-friendly, no big words. I just talk like I normally talk because not everyone knows big words. Not everyone understands all the embroidery words or all the, all the crazy words that are out there. So I literally talk, I just talk like a normal person. I mean... I don't use all the big words. How often do you use stalls? Oh, my, my heat press? I use it every day because I use it to, um, oh man, I've never done a live having to walk around. So my heat press that I love so much, <laughs> I use it uh, every single day because I use it to tend to touch the shirts. I use it to put the heat and bond on everything. I use it for my vinyl shirts. I made a shirt with it this morning, but uh, it's already packaged. I will show it to you guys. Uh, I use it every day. Every time I embroider, this thing is on. Let's see, any more questions. All right, I need my coffee again. Where'd I put it? Where's my coffee? Did I leave it in the garage? I sure did. Whew. Does Brilliance know two designs are there and does not overlap stitches? So that's a, another plus of Brilliance. My lips are crusty. Okay, that's another perk of Brilliance. So you put two designs over each other, they overlap. Now, it's going to look like they overlap, but when you save the stitch file as, so if it's a PES, if you have a brother, you click save stitch file as, and then you name it PES. And when you reopen it, it will erase the overlapping stitches. So Etsy course is for all Etsy sales. It is very helpful. I already had a shop. And I learned so many things that I wasn't doing since my views have doubled. I invest in yourself. It's worth it. Oh, thank you so much, T. Thank you. Glad you're doing better. My daughter has the same thing you did two times. Ouch. Bless you for sharing. Super inspiring. Oh, yeah. That was that was hard. Oh, I'm glad that's over. Hope your daughter feels better. I opened a shop in 2016 and had less than 100 sales. I purchased the course and I'm up to 471. Wow, Myra, good job. Do licensed designs can be merged with Embrilliance? Any, you can always merge any designs in Embrilliance. Can you take designs and use parts to make one in Embrilliance? So I'm guessing you're asking like if you can delete certain parts of a design. Um, that's that's a hard one. There's like a, I think there's a separate Embrilliance piece that you can buy to do that um the I, I use design shop that's the milko software i use design shop to um to do that because design shop i literally can click on what i want and just delete it uh fonts i use stitchtopia there's itch to stitch there's embroidery boutique there's a lot of different there's a bunch of different kind brands or companies <laughs> 
Uh, I've been doing embroidery for three and a half years, almost four. I don't have a brother. Well, the brother dealer I use in Maryland, I wouldn't get it from them again because I got ripped off. Um, I'll put a video on when I got my 10 needle. I'll put that up in another video. But I realized, I couldn't find the footage for the longest time and I realized it was on my phone. I was looking through my camera. I was like, well, I lost the footage when I got my 10 needle. But um, it was on here the whole time. I realized it yesterday. So I'll probably throw that into a video. I don't know how long it is. Um, maybe it'll be his own video. So yeah, okay. And Brilliance Enthusiast allows you to select individual stitches and delete. Okay, thank you so much, Carly. Yeah, so, and Brilliance is for Mac and PC. Um, so Pro is cheaper, and that is for uh, Windows computers. You can explain a little bit about your business course. So the Etsy course is just showing you how to set up your Etsy listings, um, how to title them, what you should include in your description, the type of pictures you should have. It's stuff like that. He pressed that's budget friendly. A lot of everyone's saying that he presses are sold out because everyone's doing crafting now. Um, there's heat press nation that uh sells heat presses that are a bit cheaper um there's some on amazon hello <laughs> um forgot what i was saying amazon has some i know a lot of you guys have gotten some off amazon and then uscutter.com also has heat presses that's the red heat press i had before it was from uscutter.com it was a swing arm um heat press I'm thinking of getting so what pro because hatch it seems to be more complicated than the software from what I hear. We when we were trying to digitize, we downloaded the hatch, but it's like it's for Windows, I I believe. So it was like we had to like download some Windows thing for Mac, but it was a bit confusing for us. Um, but again, I'm just used to seeing the Imbrilliance, so that's why I think Imbrilliance just seemed easier the stitch artist. But I think if I started from nothing and didn't know anything about anything, hatch may have been a little bit easier. And then Pam uses Sew Up Pro. Uh, I believe Danny also uses Sew Up Pro. Jessica and I use uh, In Brilliance. Her Etsy course is basically all the things Etsy shop videos on YouTube do not tell you. Oh, thank you. Why I work with screen printing? No, I don't have any screen print machines. I don't do none of that squeegee whoop whoop stuff. I don't. I don't. I don't do that. I do have some screen print transfers. Um. Is P designs 10 only for brother machines? Wondering if files can be transferred to the Elna Genomi. That I don't know, but I feel like every embroidery software, you can usually save the designs in a different format. But again, don't quote me on that because I don't know about PE design software. I don't know if it only saves it as PES. I'm not sure. Can someone else answer that? I use Heat Press Nation. I love my machine. It has a pull-out drawer, so I... Oh yeah, that was with the normal clam heat press. When you put your hands under there, boop, I always burnt myself. I had like the pink crafting heat press. That's what I started with, the little tiny one. Always burnt my hands. So that's why I like the pull out drawer or the swing away. Yeah, you can on Sew It Pro, you can save other files. I just don't know about PE designs, like the PE Design 10 software. Yeah, so if you're considering getting Hatch, please do a 30-day trial just so you can try it out. All right, I need to go eat my burger. Oh, hi, Miss Miss Kulit. Kul 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 I'm sorry if I'm saying that so wrong. Yes, and Brilliance works for Windows as well. And Brilliance does both. ¿Cómo se puede empezar un negocio como el tuyo? How can I start a business like your, like you did? P.S. I love your videos. I learned a lot. Um, I get that question so many times, and that's maybe I just need to make that a video. How can you start 
an embroidery business. Maybe if, maybe if you like give me a bunch of questions to answer, it'd be easier because it's such a broad question of how can you start an embroidery business? There's literally so much into it. Doom, doom, doom. What size heat brush should I start with? 15 by 15 or smaller? 15 by 15. There's no point in getting a, a smaller if a smaller heat press if you're going to keep it for a while. Um, I started with a 9 by 12, regretted it instantly because I'd be doing adult shirts or kid shirts, like older kid shirts, and the 9 by 12 is just too short. The design was always too big, so. Do you know what size? Oh, you want to lay them down. Mm, you don't want them rolled up. Um, I would try a 12 by 12 box then to lay them flat. Honestly, I don't know for sure. Um, I just roll them up, um, because the bigger the box, the more it weighs and the more expensive it's going to be. You can try a medium flat rate box, normal, but they're 1320 to ship. I have a ton of questions. Are you still taking on mentees? So... It depends on your questions. If it's like basic, like embroidery questions, then I would suggest joining the group because it's a lot quicker to get an answer in the group because there's so many people in the Facebook group already. And I'm sure your questions have either been asked before or there's definitely someone who could answer your question. If it's like a hooping question, a supply question, an Etsy question, there's literally, I think what, 6,500 of us in that group now. So yeah. Dun, 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 dun compressed using vacuum bags no i don't i've never done that and i don't recommend that i don't i feel like if you no i don't think that's necessary because just when you fold it up in the bag the tutu that's fine consumer tags i don't know what that is For fonts, uh, I use Stitchtopia, Embroidery Boutique, Itch to Stitch, Designs by Juju, Baby K. Um, I need to go eat because if this stuff comes down, I'm be starving. I always have to do a 30 minute live. So, the Rainbow Polka Dot ribbon is back in stock. Let's just show you the ribbon real quick. Here's the ribbons we have in stock. Yeah, your favorite Rainbow Polka Dot. So, they're all in stock. You guys asked for Baby Blue gray navy blue polka dots i don't know any other polka dot colors you guys may have wanted yes if you guys please oh yeah so my shirt i all my shirts are tested if you need the uh cpc testing all my shirts have been tested they all pass all the inspection the fire safety all that so I can put that if you if you need it for some reason. I can uh, send that to you if you need it. So yeah, rainbow polka dot, black and white polka dot, red and white polka dot, lime green, lavender. How well do you like your Melko, guys? I love my Melko. <laughs> it's just so fast. Like I would say, my husband and I were talking. If you want to talk about machines and what's best about each machine, Melko, that hands down speed. Nothing is as fast as the Melco. They can say their machines go fast, but like these machines, say they go a thousand stitches a minute, they do not. They do not because when you really, it slows down, and a lot of you guys know, it'll slow down and then it'll be going like 400 stitches a minute. This machine goes <laughs> what it says. So that's why I love this machine. But Melco speed is its number one attribute. Brothers, we're saying is just reliability you know if you get a brother it's gonna work so that's what we're saying um this machine the 10 needle the best thing about this machine is that it's just quiet it's very quiet i do think the 10 needle seems to be slower than the six needles to me but maybe that's just because it's quiet um but this machine goes just as fast as these machines this machine is just oh no please somebody unthread the needle because i'm gonna cry this machine is just so fast. Like, I feel like if I had two of these machines, I would need no more machines. Uh, do you think that I would benefit from just getting a brilliance? I'm just merging, editing, not trying to digitize it. Yes. You don't need anything other than a brilliance. 
put up a sentence disclaimer that the blanks are CPS say I do 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 can I put up something in the description that the blanks are CPSIA compliant dun, dun, dun. did you get did you get straight from Melco yeah I bought I got this from Melco I didn't get it from a dealer you can't get the EMT 16x from a dealer it has to be straight from Melco and since we talked about the Melco already hit up my guy Todd his lit information is always in the descriptions of my videos a lot of you guys have already talked to Todd and know Todd he likes to say He's like the worst salesman just because he won't push you to buy a machine. He'll answer your questions and that's it. He doesn't bother you. You call him, he won't call you bothering you over and over and over again. If you just call him, he'll answer your questions and that's it. If, if you don't reach back out, you don't. He's not going to blow up your phone bothering you. So he'll just answer your questions. Super nice guy, super chill, really cool. Love you, Todd. <laughs> and yes, I do get a credit if you get a mail call. So if you do mention that you uh heard about the machines from angela on youtube that helps me out too um one for cat yeah so i'm gonna be doing hats on the melco soon my brother needs hats um so i'm gonna try doing them we can we can do them together guys um how do you remember what font you use for design i only use like four fonts for that reason because trying to scroll through trying to figure out which font mm, that's hard I have the Melco EMT 16X. It is they have a sale right now for thirteen thousand seven ninety five for the machine that includes shipping and everything. Um, if you don't want the on site training, they have online videos and you can take a thousand dollars off of it. Um, but just uh, if you have any questions, ask Todd. His phone number and email are down below. He's a super nice guy. He'll answer. You'll be shocked at how nice he is. A lot, of, a lot of you guys, you guys email me. You're like, oh my God, Todd is so nice. He's just literally nice. Um, yeah. So yeah, if you have a hat business, hands down Melco. Just Melco. They say like Melco, the amount of space you can do on a hat is bigger than any other machine. And it's just so easy to hoop. The hats, are, I know that's not called, I don't know if it's called hooping. I don't, I don't know the terminology. But it's a lot easier and it's just, just simple with the Melcos. Hi, Elizabeth. So they have so that thirteen seven nine five price is the Angela YouTube subscriber <laughs> subscriber price. Originally, I think was it like a few months ago, it was almost fifteen thousand dollars. So right now it's thirteen seven nine five and then thousand dollars off. Just mention if you mention me, Todd will work with you. You can add things to your package, take things away, and you get the best price. He tries to save you as much money as he can. Literally, guys, he's he always says he's like the worst salesman because he's just honest and. He's nice. So yeah. Um, always for the brother for all the machines, always get an eight by nine mighty hoop if you are going to be doing like kid shirts. Because this none none of the hoops to me work <laughs> that come with the machines work besides the five by seven. That's it. The, that's, none of the other hoops, like literally, I have all the hoops still in the packaging because I have no use for them. They're all still in the packaging on every single machine. I don't use them because it, it's just mighty hoops oh this is heavy it's real heavy real heavy and then it comes with a magnetic table how cool is that um so yeah yeah so melco yeah there's a bernina version of this one it's it's heavy so they the the company will come and bring it in for you and then they put it they build the cart for you and put it on the cart so Tum, tum, tum. All right. I basically have a video of everything. I try. I try. Yeah, Elizabeth, I do ship blanks to Canada, and I guess I forgot to mention it's been a while. So today I added UPS shipping to Canada. So much cheaper and so much faster than the post office. I usually use USPS, but UPS I think was half the cost. And it was, I think it said like two to four days. So it's very fast and cheaper. So I added that today um, for Canada and anywhere international, I added UPS. And in the US, I added UPS too. Um, like if you live in PA, I think it's still, UPS ground is still one day. So I added that. Now I'm gonna have to make trips to UPS. Well, no, 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 Keenan will have to make trips to UPS, not me. No, no. if there's a Duncan, maybe I'll go, maybe. So yeah. 
Oh, moving and taking the machines. <sighs> yeah, that's the stress I'm having. I'm like, how do we how do we do this? But God didn't figure it out. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. I do use the so right now my problem is I don't have space in there and I haven't been working on shirts as much. Um so y'all just gonna see my this is this is what my mess really looks like. Like this is just a mess. But I don't really have space to use it right here because of the mess. <laughs> but when I move and I get everything set up, I'm using it. I'm using it. Oh, my arm hurts. So from what I, I don't understand how UPS works 100%. That's why I haven't used it, honestly. Um, they do pickups, but they charge per pickup. Whereas the post office is just free. Um, so I haven't used UPS yet, so we'll see. But if it's only one box, I feel like I can do a pickup for one box. But I don't think now, seeing all the prices, I think almost everyone's going to prefer UPS over the post office. But we'll see. We'll see. If it's enough, yes, I'm going to try a pickup and I'm going to see how it works. I just haven't tried it yet. Hi, Sierra. Free labels from UPS. So, the late, like, so shipping labels are not free. You pay for the shipping cost of the labels, if that makes sense. So on Shopify is where I use, that's what I sell all my stuff through besides Etsy. You get, you buy the shipping label off there and then it prints it for you. Yeah, please give this video a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. You know, if, if you give it a video, th if you give it a video, huh? If you give the video a thumbs up, YouTube knows people like this lady's content. Let's recommend your videos to more people who like crafts. I don't sell glitter ribbon. Yeah, they charge the same rate to pick up one box of 20. I just wish it was free, but it is what it is. I guess it's not that bad. I think it was like $7. And because I'm residential, they charge even more money. So, so yeah. Oh, I see what you mean, Mandy. Okay, I see what you mean. Oh, thank you. Um, the fabric I get from Joann's is interlock. I get that question so much. I just need to post it somewhere. I wish I, I don't have the number, but this is what it looks like. It's just kind of like t-shirt material. So, yeah. Doom, doom, doom. Well, Shopify. Oh, oh, are they here? Are they here? Is the post office here? Not the post office. The blanks. All right, let me go, guys, because the blanks are here. I need to hurry up and make a video for you guys about the blanks. Oh, the dog's barking. All right. All right, guys, let me go eat a burger. Hopefully before the blanks get here. Once the blanks get here, I'm going to be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be like this. Because uh, all these boxes, where are they going? We'll find out. All right, guys. Um. I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be probably the blanks video or the embroidery machine video. I don't know. Buy some fabric, buy some blanks so I can make more space for these new blanks. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Close. X not working. Frozen.